You know, humans have always wanted to conquer the night, but for centuries our ancestors only had candles to do it with. But candles don't give very much light, and indeed if I use one of these light meters, I get a reading of something like 20 lux, a modern unit of measurement. On the other hand, if I go to our modern day lighting, I get, uh, in fact, about 300 lux. Now, that sounds like a lot of light, and indeed we're very comfortable living in light levels like that, but this is not very much light as compared to what we get outside. And if we just walk out here, let's just take a look. I mean, gosh, it's a pretty dark and dismal day out here, the rain socked in. But if we take a reading with our light meter, we get a reading of 10,000 lux of light, which is 30 times greater than the amount of light we had indoors. It's this uh, level of bright light that the biological clock needs to reset and keep in sync with day and night. In fact, without us even realizing each day as the light appears at dawn, it nudges our biological clock so that we keep perfectly in sync with day and night. Now, the problem is, as NASA faced when it started the space program, is that if you want people to be absolutely their best in the middle of the night, in critical missions where you cannot afford to fail, then you want to get absolute control over day and night. And we have liftoff. Roll program, Houston. So they built this special crew quarters facilities. And here we can really turn up the light. Just one switch, a second, a third, and a fourth, and you see this enormous internal, inside this building, the same intensity of light as you get in the outdoor world.